I'm T.S. Decker, Command Sergeant Major, retired. Today, we're going to teach you how to zero your AR-15 platform. This is Military.com's How To. Today on Military.com, how to, I'm going to introduce a dear friend of mine, Master Sergeant Mike Cluck, retired recently from the United States Army, former Recon First Sergeant of 102nd Cav C Troop. Hoorah! Today we're going to teach you how to zero your AR-15 platform. Over to you, Mike. Today we're on a range, on a 25 meter range. We have 18 rounds of 5.56 millimeter ammunition. We have a 300 meter zero target, and we have three sandbags for stabilization. As always on military.com, anytime we're dealing with any kind of weapons platform, we got to make a complete safe weapon. Unlock the slide to the rear. Physically and visually check the chamber to make sure that it's clear of any obstructions or brass. Let the bolt go home. Close the dust cover. Mike, your weapon. Now we're gonna mechanically zero the rifle. The weapon is clear, weapon's on safe, barrel's pointing up and down range. We're gonna start with the front sight post, which is used for elevation. You want the base of the front sight even and flush with the sight well. It's flush, we're ready to adjust the rear sight. You want the large aperture down, it's got an alignment notch with the base of the rear sight. We're gonna turn it so both marks are completely aligned. Last step is your elevation knob. It's on eight slash three. That's your normal firing position, 300 to 800 meters. Once you have it on eight slash three, you're gonna rotate it one click clockwise. This is done for zeroing purposes only. Once you're done completing zeroing the weapon, you have to make sure you return that knob back to eight slash three. The weapon is now ready to fire. <laughs> Mike's gonna load a magazine with three rounds. He's gonna shoot those three rounds. Okay, drop the magazine, lock the bolt to the rear, make a complete safe weapon. We'll go down and check the target. Clear. What we've done here is mark Mike's first three shot group, and I marked it first group. Now we're gonna go back to the firing line, reload the magazine with three rounds, and do it again. Okay, the second shot group, as you can see, it's a nice group, but what we want to do is make the appropriate corrections. Based on the triangulation of the last shot group, we can look at the bottom here. The chart's going to tell you how many clicks you're going to need to make left or right. We're going to come four to the right with the windage knob. Center of the uh, strike of the rounds is even with the number seven. We're going to move the front sight post seven clicks. Four right, seven up. It's going to put a smack dab in the center of the target. Mike's made the adjustments on his rifle. Now we're going to let him shoot the last three rounds out of his magazine, and hopefully they'll get right in there in a silhouette. As you can see, Mike's third shot group. He made the appropriate corrections Got the three rounds where it needed to be. Based on the shot placement within the four centimeter circle, if we fired three more rounds and they were within the four centimeter circle, this weapon is confirmed zero. I'm T.S. Decker. This is Military.com's How To. 